know that you're really, really stressed out, but I insist that the best treatment for all of your anxiety is another gallon of sweet tea. Isn't that right, Brownie? No, Siggy, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why don't we just try sitting back and enjoying this beautiful day instead? Well, I don't see why we can't do both, because not everyone in the world has your sweet tooth, Siggy. And caffeine and sugar do not mix well with stress and anxiety. But it works for me when I'm feeling really sad. That's because you are so terribly special in regard to sugar and sugar-like products, but this is our love we're talking about here. And I really do want all of their stress to be swept away, either in that creek over there or in this really lovely early fall wind. Well, what about some lemon and orange starbursts? Certainly that would make them more stressed out. Well, what if they wanted the cherry or the strawberry starbursts? Yes, I did eat them, but we all know they're the best ones. <laughs> You're such a naughty girl, Siggy. Now, do try to calm down at least a little. I'm worried that the vibrations you cause in the universe with that electric smile of yours will jitter our precious here between us. Yeah, and there are all of these strangely flowering magnolias around us. <laughs> I'm sure you really love the fact that these ones smell like candy. <laughs> oh, oh, brownie, stop making me blush so much. <laughs> it's true. And I know it's true because I know both you and our love here. Hmm, I wonder, how's your stress doing, baby? Would you feel better if I gave you the rest of this cupcake that I had? Siggy, where were you hiding that this whole time? It's a day trick cupcake. I conjured it. My god, Siggy, why are you so cute? <laughs> oh, well, it looks like our lover finds that amusing, too. <laughs> Was it something I said? Maybe it's the icing on your nose. Oh! There is icing on my nose. Ah, uh, 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 Siggy, don't go trying to eat it. But Brownie, I don't want to waste it. It's perfectly good buttercream with the confetti sprinkles. All right, that's fair. All right. Mm. Okay, I still have like a third of this Daedric cupcake left. Are you sure, love? laying there under the magnolia tree that you don't want any of this? Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, I, I had more icing on my face. Oh, thanks for wiping it off. <laughs> that tickled. Y'all, please don't kill me with all of your cuteness. You know you're my OTP and just seeing you both here so happy. Even a little stressed out, but smiling, it, it's nice. Brownie, that's unfair and untrue. The real OTP is you and our lover. Well, I guess we'll just have to be an OTT then. One true triad, and yes, Brownie, you are so cheesy, and yes, Brownie, I adore Adore it. Honestly, I think the only reason you're with me is because of my name, Siggy. No, I'm with you because you are sweet. And you are cheesy. And our love here. <laughs> wow. They're beaming like the sun. I 
second Kui successfully scared away all of their stress, what do you think? No, Siggy, I don't think we scared away enough of their stress. I won't be content until the stress has completely ran back to hell where it belongs. Brownie, you'll never win a war against a feeling. You have to accept that it's a battle-by-battle battle sort of basis. Hmm, but I can't wage even a little war on our lover's stress? No waging wars, Brownie. Come on, Siggy. No, I have a Hershey's bar. <clears throat> okay, maybe a little war. Maybe a lot war? I'm having regrets, and our love here can back me up. A lot of war is bad and is not worth a Hershey's bar. By the way, sweetie, want to share it with me? I mean, I already ate half of it in the time it took to say all that, but there's still like a little corner piece left. I am trying to save it just for you. Y you really should take it before, before I... Oh, I ate it. It's all right. It's all right. I wasn't actually going to wage a massive war. I just wanted to wage a medium-sized war. But if you both think that that's a bad idea, I'll keep my power fantasies on the back burner for now. Now back to our sweeties relaxation. I'm thinking it would be good and comforting to be read a good bedtime story. What do you think about me reading to you, Child Roll into the Dark Tower came? Brownie, have you been eating all of my jello again? I have no clue what you're talking about, baby girl, but that's okay. So, love, what do you think? I could read you some poetry to help you relax even more and maybe even sink down into sleep. But then you'll make me go to sleep. You know that's what happens when you start reading your epic poetry to me? Well, maybe you could do with a nap. Naps are good for everybody after all, Siggy. Honestly, I just want to hear your voice. I really don't care about the poem at all. Fine, fine, fine. But I'm going to sit next to our lover. I'm going to link arms with them, and we'll see who lasts the longest. Well, sweethearts, I'll go easy on you, and I'll just read a few stanzas. <laughs> Child Roland to the Dark Tower came by Robert Browning. What in the midst lay but the tower itself? The round squat turret, blind as the fool's heart, built of brown stone, without a counterpart in the whole world. The tempest's mocking elf points to the shipman, thus the unseen shelf he strikes on, only when the timbers start. Not see? Because of night, perhaps? Why, day came back again for that. Before it left, the dying sunset kindled through a cleft. The hills, like giants at a hunting, lay, chin upon hand, to see the game at bay. Now stab and end the creature to the heft. Not here. Wind noise was everywhere. It tolled, increasing like a bell. Names in my ears of all the lost adventurers, my peers. How such a one was strong. And such was bold, and such was fortunate. Yet each of old lost, lost, one moment knelled the woe of years. There they stood, ranged along the hillsides, met to view the last of me, a living frame for one more picture. In a sheet of flame I saw them, and I knew them all. And yet, Dauntless, the slughorn to my lips I set and blew. Child Roland to the dark tower came. 
Are we gonna get demonetized for that? Hey y'all, it's Marsha O'Hare with Nightmare Public Broadcasting here to say there is simply not enough compersion in the world. The people we would love to see being in love are Zemo, Rocco, the Lago Samantha, Aya Fekla, Yoko Thul, P. Dove, Sam Myers, Jackson Daniel 42, Bing! Jerry was script, man of many bees, Axel Gale, Kai Metis, Christopher O.S., Organic Emerald, Sam Myers, Jackson Daniel 42, Pemster Mogus, Geffen Jones, and Joshua Hadley. Hey, you there. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. Did you know that there are comics and audio essays and other exclusive content over at patreon.com slash belladonna ASMR? Patrons get my deepest gratitude and a golden ticket to heaven. Do not fact check that. Now, y'all stay safe out there for me. Bye! Oh, that's that good? All right, the channel will be moving across the United States at the end of this month, so be wary of sporadic posting. That being said, we have no intention of going anywhere. <laughs> now, y'all stay safe out there. <laughs> bye! Say bye, Pippin. Oh, you're so cute.